trip from the hip out and over to the back of the head. So what you're going to do is you're just going to step out with your foot and you're just going to drop down in quite a groomed position. Okay, so if this is quite challenging, you can bring the knee down, but if not, you can just keep the foot up. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to push this foot out to the side. So push the foot out, keep the foot nice and flat. So you're just feeling that opening up through the hip, okay? Feel that stretch also through the front of the leg. And then just breathe through it and we're just going to reach up towards the ceiling. So now we're open up the back and the shoulders. And then you're going to drop back down. Try and get this elbow down towards the foot, ankle. And then again, just rotating up, just reaching up. Okay, back down, open up the hip, feel that stretch, and just reaching up. Good. Okay, and then we're going to swap legs, so we're going to move the other leg forward, try and keep the back knee up. So just hold that position, push that knee out, feel that stretch. Good, and then again, just bring that right elbow down, increase that stretch, rotate up to the ceiling, open up that chest. Breathe and again back down. Back again, rotating up. Breathe and again back down. Rotating up. Good. Ah, back down. Okay. So then what we're going to do is just drop down to that knee and take this right foot out. Okay. So we're on the knee and then we've got that, that leg out to the side to a planting forward. Okay. So you're going to get a little stretch from here. We push the hips forward, so a little squeeze of the bottom. And then we're just going to drop down, so like sitting into that hip. So use the hands on the floor and just feel that stretch. Make sure you're breathing. And then just rotate up. Back down. And then we're going to rotate the other. So get that stretch through the hip. And then come back up. Squeeze. Drop back down. Feel that stretch. Rotate up. Back down. Rotate up. Down and back up, good. Okay, and then swap sides, bring that knee in, take that leg out, keep that foot nice and straight, drop down, feel that stretch, ease into it. Might feel a bit tight to begin with, rotate up, back down, rotate the other way, down, come back up, use the floor if you need to squeeze the glutes, drop that down again, feel that stretch, rotate up, back down, rotate up. Down, back up we go. Good, okay. So from there, what we're then going to do is we're just going to drop down onto the floor, okay? So we're going to sit nice and tall, using your hand if you need to, and take the legs nice and wide, okay? We're going to drop the hips down, and then we're just going to rotate them round, okay? So I'm rotating into there. So we're trying to keep a 90 degree angle, okay? Pushing both knees into the floor, rotating round, trying to stay nice and tall, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this leg into the floor, show you from here, push this leg into the floor and we're going to take this leg out. Okay, so we're pushing and pulling, open up them hips. Breathe in. Good. So we're going to take the leg out, hold there, try not to use the floor if you can, and then drop the other way. I'm going to rotate round, nice and tall, feeling that stretch through the hips pushing into the floor, and now we're going to take this leg apart, pushing, 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 good, back back we come, try not to use the floor, keep the legs wide, drop that down, rotate round, nice and tall, pushing both knees into the floor, feeling that tension through the hips and the glutes, good, try and keep this 90 degree angle on both legs, Good, and then again, push this into the floor, take that leg away. Let's take the same hips and push in, pull in. Open up them hips. Make sure you keep breathing throughout. Try not to use that floor, back up. Drop down to the other side. Nice and tall, rotate. Feel that nice stretch through the hip. Pushing that knee in. Okay, and then take that leg away. Push in, pull in. Pulling. Good. And then back down we come. Good. Okay. So from there, we're going to keep the legs nice and wide. And now we're going to drop each leg inside. Okay. So you can again use your hands to support you. We're going to drop this knee in. Okay. Trying to keep that knee nice and high. Drop it in. 
Stay tall, try not to lean too far back. And then breathe, pull out. Don't force this, just go as far as you can. Drop in. You might find this one side slightly different to the other. Make sure you're keeping this leg where it is, try not to open that out, because then we're just rotating through that pelvis. So keep that up. Push that knee, slowly back up. And again, swap sides. Breathe. And back up, good. So as you work through these, you should find you can just get a little bit more movement. Ease in, back up, and again, back down. Nice and steady. Breathe, back up, and again. So just seeing that movement just starting to improve. And breathe, make sure you're breathing through. Finding that movement's just increasing, so just getting more rotation through that hip, which is going to be brilliant for your goal for me. Okay, one more on each side, drop down. Back up once more. And back up, good, okay. So we're just going to drop down, lie down onto our backs now, okay? I'm just going to drop our legs to the side, okay? Just relaxing this hand down. We're just going to do some windmills. So we're going to reach above your head as far as you can into this open position here. Don't worry if you're pinging up from the floor. Knees are kind of tucked down, so the knees are out to the side. Rotation is coming through this upper body. Just hold that stretch, kind of pin the shoulder blades down to the floor. Open up that chest and then close it back up. And again, make a big windmill above your head. Open it up, open up that chest. Don't look at the pinging up, just feel that lovely stretch through the shoulders, through the chest, and back up, good, once more. Open up, rotate, feel that stretch, and close it back up, okay, and then we're just going to rock to the other side, to the side. Rotate, might feel a bit different on that side, a little bit tighter, keep these knees down, rotate them through here. Hold that stretch, big deep breath in this position. And close up. And again, rotate, open up the shoulders, breathe. Back up, once more. Just ease in, trying to improve that movement. It should feel a little bit easy as you work through the reps. And back up, good, okay. So what we're gonna do now, just Keep the back nice and flat, so pull that belly button into the floor, keep the knees together, okay? So I'm reaching up towards the ceiling with the hands, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to rock down to the side. And as we rock, we're going to rotate the upper body the other way. And then back up. So we rock down to the side, rotate the upper body, try and control it. And back you come. Nice and steady, if you lose control, that's not too far. Up. And again, rock through the pelvis and the lower back is rotating together. So we're keeping these all connected and then this upper back from kind of like the rib cage upwards, we're just rocking the opposite direction. Rotate, try not to lose it. Control that leg, so you're using a little bit of core stability there just to control that movement. It's only slight. Up you go, okay. Last one, we're going to bring the hands down to the floor, bring the feet towards the bottom, okay. Just take the legs a little bit wider for the hip width apart, okay. So, as well as this is a glute strengthening exercise, but it's great for stretching out the hips, okay. So, we're just going to drive the hips up towards the ceiling, you're going to get a nice stretch through the front of the hips here, really squeezing the glutes, okay. And then just drop the legs out to the side, hold for a couple of seconds, bring back up. And drop back down. Make sure that back's flat as you touch the floor. Drive up, squeeze the glutes, feel that stretch all through the front of the hips. Drive the knees out, feel that stretch, should feel quite good. You feel the glutes, the bottom, buttocks working. Back in, drop down, drive the hips up, take the knees out, feel that stretch. Back in, back 
down, one spot, drive the hips up, squeeze the glutes, drive the knees out. Hold that stretch, make sure you breathe in, back in, and relax, good stuff. Okay, so that should literally take you four or five minutes, okay? You should feel that your hips are feeling a little bit looser. Okay, we've got a little bit more mobility through there. Open up the chest a little bit. It's just a great way to kind of um, get the body moving a bit better. So before or after golf, um, and just ensure that the hips are staying nice and loose um, and we're not prone to injury or any stiffness or tightness.